So you have an older Mercedes, in this case a 2011 GLK, uh, and it does not have Bluetooth streaming for audio other than to make phone calls. Uh, so it's time to update, and I wanted to do it as quickly and simply as possible. Um, whenever you're doing this, it's very important to know what your system has and doesn't have. In this case, I do have the auxiliary, and if you use the toggle to uh, select audio, and then you can see that auxiliary is an option. Now, in this case, um, it has the 30-pin iPod connector pre-installed. You notice I don't have any other kind of uh, whiz-bang connector on the side to plug in a separate cable to, so I'm limited to using something that's compatible with the 30-pin iPod connector. Uh, and to that end, I got one of these. It's a Bovi 1000, uh, WMA 1000, I believe is a full part number. Um, that is presumably just a plug-and-play kind of Bluetooth adapter that retains the control function to uh, make the, uh, the command system act like it's got an iPod in there, which I, I have had. I've removed it already. So let's get this installed and see how it works. And the contents of the package include a one-sheet uh, installation guide, which is pretty straightforward, this being the part you really need. This tells you how to pair with your existing phone and how to install the device itself. Uh, but basically what that means is you, uh, it does have protective packaging on it, which I haven't removed yet. You can see the blue, uh, blue material on there to protect it from getting biffed up in, in, uh, shipping. So let's go ahead and extract this and plug it in and presumably with the key on, I get a blue flashing light, which means it's looking to pair with a phone. All right, in my case, it took it a couple minutes to actually come up. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to select Bovi 1000, and it should be pairing. Uh, looks like it paired without any pin code, but if you do need one, uh, presumably the code is 0000. Okay, the system is now in auxiliary. Uh, it's The phone is paired with the uh, paired with the device, the Bovi device. I'm going to select a file and notice that the uh, You'll hear people talk about the, the fact that the volume may be low, Triple but the volume by Ken Follett. The, de the the phone volume does affect the volume through the device. So if your phone's not turned all the way up, it will seem quieter than your FM or other other source. So with it all working, I'm going to test out the controls on the dash on the uh, on the steering wheel to see how it works. I'll select a song here. A little Captain Beefheart. And see if I can select. Yes. So you can select the song up and down. Uh, once you're in the um, once you're in the right mode on the uh, dash. So I've selected iPod and it's uh, working exactly like it should. Uh, I can select the volume up and down, of course as I normally would. So, all in all, this is an amazing, uh, amazing little device. One of the other questions that comes up is how does this affect my ability to uh, make or uh, receive phone calls hands-free through the Bluetooth system in the car? Well, I've got it playing now. Uh, we've got the um, got playing a uh, YouTube video audio through the auxiliary uh, I'm going to uh, suddenly I'm going to receive a phone call uh, and see what happens and sure enough it receives it just fine I'm going to accept the call and I will have regular uh, audio through the system 
uh, kind of echoey because both phones are sitting in my lap. Okay, so now I'm hanging up and it should revert to uh, Bluetooth. Yep, yeah, it goes right back to the music source. So in other words, it's a seamless integration.